Hey guys, my name is Jordan Smith and I am the owner of Smith Lawn and Landscape. I'm Adam Hansen. I am Snow and Ice Control Manager for Smith Lawn and Landscape. We serve southern Minnesota uh, and we serve about 30 acres of commercial property for snow and ice control. Yeah, typically, you know, a normal day, we'll get our crews rolling at about 3 a.m. We have a lot of properties that, you know, require us to be completely in and out uh, by 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. So a lot of times, you know, people in the snow removal industry know the weather doesn't always work in your favor. Right. So sometimes you have a pretty short window to get it done. So, you know, typically we will plow everything and uh, we'll come right behind it with our salt trucks and, and get to work, so. Yeah, and the cool thing is with liquid, I mean, once we get things plowed off and get our liquid sprayed, our, our lots are bare. I mean, depending on conditions, I mean, sometimes they're bare within 15 minutes, sometimes it takes an hour or two. But the general theme is that when you look at our competitors' parking lots next door, ours are clear and theirs are just starting to melt off. So that's given us a huge advantage uh, with our clients uh, because our service is so much better than our competitors, not because we're necessarily better at everything, it's because we're using a better product and better equipment. Absolutely, and I think the huge advantage too with being able to melt off your parking lot so quick after the initial plow is, think about all these people coming to work. Typically, you know, they're driving on really bad roads into work. They're kind of stressed out. They're probably running late. You know, typically if you're working in an office setting, you're not wearing the best shoes for snow, you know. Right, right. Obviously, you're not going to come to work wearing boots. You're going to be wearing smooth bottom yep. dress shoes and high heels. Yep. People aren't usually thinking about their safety. They're like, I got to get into work. So it's essential that we get it as safe and as clear as possible as soon as possible, you know, so we don't have that liability issue. And we actually, you know, with our customers that we've had for, for the last couple of years, I think I mentioned we've been using liquid only for de-icing the last five years. Um, our customers are accustomed to having their parking lots melted off very quickly. Um, and that gives us a great advantage too, because there's been a, a few contracts where, you know, our price was higher, someone, someone cheaper came in, took the account from us. Uh, the, the customer quickly realized, holy cow, um, going back to the salt, it's, it's a mess for our buildings. It doesn't work as quickly. Um, we really miss the service we had last year, so we end up getting those customers back a lot of times because they, they kind of take for granted how good uh, our product works uh, compared to what they had before. And that's really given us very high retention, retention rates with our snow removal accounts. Absolutely, and that's usually one of the first things as a snow removal manager, I will go and meet with the customers and we always do our preseason walkthrough, go through the parking lot, identify any problem areas. And usually in conversation, it comes up where they say, yeah, you know, we used to have a guy that would do salt and he did the sidewalk and we got billed for 400 pounds of salt on a sidewalk and it's maybe, you know, 300 linear feet. I mean, it's just insane <laughs> yeah. what they put on. It yeah. almost would look like, uh, you know, it would just be covered. Of, it look, yeah, it looked, yeah. Like, it looked like hail all over their sidewalk. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So one of our uh, customers mentioned that he used to have his break room area and that's the main entrance where all the employees would come in their time clock was in there he used to have it waxed stripped and waxed twice every winter because of all the salt coming in and how abrasive it was and how hard it was on the floor now he just does his um, floor stripping and waxing one time in spring he said it saves a lot of money that way and he has noticed it just doesn't get tracked through the whole building because right. a lot of times if you have tile floor especially if it's a darker color you can see that salt residue all over the place right. so right. they say it's really nice you only have to do your normal janitorial schedule you know mop it once a lot of times if you're using rock salt you have to you know mop twice or three times you spend a lot more on your janitorial costs i mean and overall, it's better for your flooring at the right. same time. Absolutely. In addition to benefits for our customers, there's benefits for our, uh, for our own company, our, uh, our own employees as well. Um, one of those being, you know, for the company's sake, these sprayers made by Voight Smith Innovation, um, they're controlled with a speed control application system, meaning that we simply enter the gallon breaker we want to apply and the sprayer does the rest. I mean, we, we start the engine, flip a switch, and we go. So we can take guys that don't have very much experience in these trucks, and they can handle de-icing their own parking lots. So for example, this truck here, this particular truck isn't actually one of our plow trucks, but 
Um, we have a couple F-350s with plows on them, and we have a few accounts that are remote. They're kind of off our normal route. So what we do is we send these trucks to plow those accounts. When they're done plowing, they can de-ice, you know, with a 300-gallon sprayer in the back of an F-350, you can de-ice three acres or more. Um, so we don't have to send our, you know, 2,700-gallon hook truck to go de-ice these parking lots because they're across town from, you know, where they're Absolutely. normally working. So these guys can not only plow their own lots, but then they can spray them and have them de-iced and get out of there and don't have to send extra people up there. Yeah, and like he was talking about, the GPS controllers that Void Smith Innovation utilizes, I mean, it's, it saves a lot of headache because, you know, throughout winter, you'll have some guys that take certain trips here and there. Or they're out of town on a family vacation. So that means we can put someone else in that rig. Right. And as long as the controller is set and... You know, all they have to do is hit the switch. They can take care of it. They'll never over apply. That's the best part. Or you know, under apply. Yeah, or under apply. Yeah, right. that's that's huge. But you know, as they're cruising through the parking lot, you know, as any snow removal operator will know, people tend to walk in front of you, drive in front of you. You hit the brakes. It cuts the flow. You're not wasting product. Right. Um, you know. Otherwise, if you'd hit the brakes, you know, you'd probably sit there for 30 seconds while someone backs out of the lot. You're putting out a lot of product for no right. reason at all. So that way you have enough to get through all of your accounts. Well, and the, the beauty of liquid too is, you know, you can, you can literally see where you've driven. So if you got a layer of snowpack, um, even inexperienced operators can clearly see, you know, I've driven here, there's, there's lines that are melted behind me um, and they won't double apply. Whereas with rock salt, you know, unless you have treated or dyed salt, an inexperienced operator might drive over the same spot two or three times, which Obviously, yes, you're going to melt your stuff off and uh, more quickly, but you're wasting a lot of salt and then you're leaving your customers parking lot a mess. Yeah, and that's something we noticed years ago when, um, you know, over five years ago when we had a V-Box before we started really getting into liquid, you would see that a lot of guys, you know, they don't want to leave the parking lot and have to come back, you know, two hours later for a callback. They're tired. They want to get the stuff done and go home. So this way, you know, they would just put down way more than they needed just to be sure and right. then... You see it in the bottom line, you're spending way more on salt than you right. should be. You know, you're not making enough money. It stresses people out, stresses the boss out, you yeah, know, right. which you know you don't want to do. Yeah, so. right. Another big advantage, um, we kind of already touched on it here, but another big advantage is that we can, we can have like a central fill station, essentially. Our, our hook truck has a 2,700 gallon sprayer on it. And not only is that a de-icing sprayer where the hook truck can drive and de-ice parking lots, it also is a fill station for all the other smaller sprayers. We have some tool cats with sidewalk sprayers on them and we have some F-350s with 305 gallon sprayers in them and we have an F-650 with a 750 gallon sprayer on it. Um, and it allows us to be very efficient because instead of driving all the way back to the shop to go refill like most people would have to with salt, um, we can just go up to the hook truck and get the tanks topped off and you know, that way you only have one truck that has to run to and from the shop. And even then, you know, with 2,700 gallons of capacity, we can almost cover, you know, a majority of our accounts without having to go refill. Absolutely. And that's a huge advantage because we service, you know, in town, but our shop is outside of town and driving on unplowed roads right. with, you know, all that equipment, you know, and you're always in a hurry. It's not safe for our operators. We don't want to force them to you know, overdrive their vehicles, go in the ditch or get hurt or wreck right. equipment. So it works out really well. We offer a, a walkie talkie system for all of our employees so they can connect with each other, um, say, yep, we'll meet you in the next parking lot. Equipment gets filled up, you know, it takes five minutes and then they're on their way again. Right. So that's a huge advantage. A nice thing too, you know, with our sprayers, we can cover a lot of ground with them, especially our tool cat sprayers. The operator doesn't have to get out and push a spreader down the sidewalk um, and they have the hose reels on them and everything yep. so yeah we run um, multiple units and they're all Voight Smith Innovation units very durable we never have any issues with them they're high quality units I mean we've been really happy with and everything and they're dummy proof I mean seriously mm -hmm. like we said you can if you can teach someone to flip a switch um, they can de-ice a parking lot which, absolutely yeah you know, I, I guess some people would argue, well, a V-Box is easy too. Well, sure, it, it can be, but it's not easy to do without wasting or under-applying salt. With this system, it's, it's foolproof. I mean, we, we don't have issues with over or under application like mm -hmm. we used to have before. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, and I know a lot of uh, snow removal operators could probably attest to this. I personally have shoveled more out of a V-Box and I've actually spread <laughs> with one. So yep. I spent many nights, you know, it's negative 10 and you're on top of the truck 
shoveling product out into the, into the parking lot, especially at that point, you're definitely not getting the coverage you should right. be and you're not happy and you're not doing it right. And it's just really pointless when we thought, why don't we just buy a liquid sprayer that's gonna cost the same as a V-Box and right. just do it better, so. Right. Right. Yeah. And that was you, kinda that was kinda the point when we decided, you know, we started testing liquid and we saw how well it could work. We just decided, you know what, this this is gonna work. We're not gonna mess around with spreading salt anymore and going forward we haven't looked back. Yep. The only time we'll actually spread salt, you know, I will keep a couple buckets in my truck for a, a call back. You may have some water dripping off an eave or something like that. Right. So you'll come and throw one handful of salt. But beyond that, yeah, we we don't use it at all. Right. So it's been really great for us. Another big advantage um, to liquid is, you know, at your facility, obviously everyone's facility is different, but with our facility, we don't have a lot of space or space to build a um, containment area for salt. Um, we've had a couple other local contractors who have put giant piles of salt, salt out in their parking lots. They've had runoff um, into the ditches. They've killed vegetation and they've, they've gotten fined. Um, the state of Minnesota is very sensitive about that kind of stuff, especially with the number of lakes and uh, wildlife and preserves that we have here. So by using liquid, um, salt brine is, you know, it's only, it's only about 20% salt by volume. So you're talking about, you know, something that's a lot safer to store and obviously storing in plastic storage tanks unless someone hits one of your tanks, it's, it's not going to leach out or seep out. Yep. So and that's been a big advantage in terms of not needing to have a giant salt storage facility for our yeah, operation. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's great. You know, we have our tanks contained. Um, we can have a lot of storage units. We, we have our brine maker in our wash bay in winter. So yeah. we set it up that way so we can back our trucks in. We can, you know, fill them up in there. We have our calcium chloride and our um, salt brine storage tanks all piped in. So we run it off the same pumps that um, the VSI brine maker. So it's really easy to fill up. Um, you know, you don't have issues like you would with a salt pile of salt freezing right. and getting chunky and then having to break them up, you know, putting them in a salter. So well, and you don't need a skid steer to load your, your trucks. I yep. mean, how big of an advantage is, is, you know, not needing to have a skid steer on site to load your trucks Absolutely. during a snowstorm. And I mean, that is, if that skid steer goes down, how do you load your salt? Well, yep. all we're relying on is, is pumps and, I guess, yeah, you could argue a pump could fail, but it has never happened to us. So I guess, you know, mm -hmm. I would say it's more reliable than, than what a lot of people use to load salt with. Yep, absolutely. And that's something too. Um, in the past, we have rented certain areas of land in town and we have kept a couple of 1500 gallon storage tanks. So right. again, with the self-fill feature on the VSI sprayers, you don't need a pump sitting there that someone could steal because you know that would happen. Um, you don't have to have a skid loader sitting there. It's just a tank sitting there and each, each of our sprayers, we give them a hose that they can either fill other equipment with or they can use that to suck out of the tanks and fill themselves up. So it's really, it's a really big advantage. Let's say you only have to send out one truck to do a little bit of spot spraying one night. You can send out one guy, he can fill up himself, he can do his thing and go home. So right. it's, it's really yeah, a great solution for right. it. So, uh, so we don't get too long-winded here. Uh, to kind of summarize this whole thing, um, liquid de-icing has allowed us to be better as a company, better for our customers, better for our employees, um, better for the environment. Uh, one thing we didn't, didn't really touch on too much, we have some cust customers who are large corporations, very environmentally conscious. We have obtained or we've retained their accounts because their corporation is so environmentally conscious. Mm -hmm. and. You know, Brian, with putting down 60, 70% less chlorides, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're obviously being better for the environment. Yep. And that's, um, a, yeah, and that's a situation too, where, you know, we're not going to be able to get away from salt anytime soon when it comes to melting off parking lots. So you got to keep people safe. You got to have safe parking lots and sidewalks. So if you're going to do it, you might as well do it in the most environmentally um, safe way possible. Right. And VSI sprayers allow us to do that with no extra hassle. And right. it's, it's better for our company and like we said, everything. It's, yep. We would never go back, Right, that's for sure. And to kind of summarize the whole thing, we haven't touched on it much, but another, another thing to keep in mind with liquid is it is much less expensive to apply because obviously we're using less salt. We're using water as a medium to carry the salt. Um, and in turn, I mean, we can charge the same or more than our competitors are, that are applying, you know, two to three times more salt per acre than we are. We can charge the same amount for our product 
um, or, or more, like I said, because it's better. Uh, so it's good for our bottom line as well. If you guys have any other questions on liquid, uh, liquid de-icing or liquid de-icing equipment, uh, talk to the guys at VSI. They've been phenomenal to work with. They've been great for our company and they can be great for yours too. Have Absolutely. a great day.